All right, guys. So thank you again for coming to our scholarship meeting. So I'm going to include this email, um, this link in an email to your classes to kind of give you guys some information about upcoming stuff with the College and Career Center. All right. So if you guys um, can look on my website, if you have not been there, um, I have a website that has a lot of information about different things that you guys needed to do to get through the year. OK, so on your tables, I know the one here is missing. There's a, um, a QR code on your table. If you scan that, it has the uh, the last link on there is my website. And so my website has a ton of tabs on it. And on the tab is a link that says website at the bottom. And then this scholarship link right here is on here. OK, this has been here since last year, year before last. Um, so this website has information again about scholarships. So there are three general types of scholarships that you guys will be looking at from colleges. OK, so the first thing is called merit or institutional aid. That is information that will be sent to money that will be sent to you guys based off of your grades, your uh, test scores, extracurricular activities and other things. Right. And so. That's why sometimes you may have gotten, an, if you got an acceptance letter, it may say, hi, you won a thousand dollar scholarship for such and such or $10,000 scholarship for such and such. It's a merit scholarship. So one, they're giving it to you for your merit stuff, but also they're giving it to you early to kind of woo you, to kind of persuade you to drop a deposit, a non-refundable deposit to secure your spot. So every college that sends you an acceptance letter eventually you will get something called a financial aid letter. Some of you may have received one already. Some of you may get some this month, but most of them will not come until March or April, right? So it's based off of information that you put on your FAFSA, your financial aid application, and you send it to those schools. The schools take that information from FAFSA and put together a financial aid letter, okay? Also in the email that I'm sending out today, I'm going to have two workshops to teach you guys a general, um, the general information about FAFSA and how it works. And then another meeting that talks about the financial aid letter, what is in them and how to read them. OK, so when you guys get that email, make sure you open it. Right. And sign up for those two workshops. But in there, they're going to ask you for a deposit. It is non-refundable. What does non-refundable mean? You're not getting it back. OK, so don't get all excited when you get into your first choice and you drop your little money. You go on Instagram and the school colors are blue and orange and everything in the room is blue and orange, your balloons, your cake, all that kind of stuff. And you have not received your letter yet. You get your financial aid letter. And you're like, oh, this doesn't look too good. Right. You want to wait until you get every letter back. Go through those letters and see who's giving you the best deal. Those letters can be confusing because most of the time they're not straightforward. So you can always make an appointment with me. I'll sit down with you, sit down with your parent or guardian or your parent and help you go through those letters to see who's giving you the best deal. But even if the school that's your first choice is giving you what appears to be a good deal, you still want to wait until you get all the letters back because you may get another deal that might be free 99. That's a good one, right? So you want to look at everything first. OK, so they su they're supposed to give you until May 1st to make a decision. Those letters that you receive will be very persuasive for you to go ahead and drop that money. Now, you don't have to drop it right now unless the letter has an earlier date. OK, so they're going to there's going to be eight in there. Also, you're going to have an opportunity to apply for general scholarships. So on my website, this big old long list right here, there's a whole bunch under here of just general scholarship websites that you can go to. However, this can be very frustrating and very overwhelming. Some of you guys have already started digging through some of these sites. I would highly recommend to you that you just hit these sites that are right here at the top. Um, these six sites here, start with those first. Okay. Raise.me, unless you've already done that when it's too late, because those are connected to specific colleges and they already had deadlines of completion that have already passed. Um, Fast Web is pretty good. Capex is decent. Going Mary was very popular last year. You fill out a profile, fill out as much information as you can in those profiles. And then um, you can go through and sign up for certain scholarships. 
um, Unigo and Go and Mary also will send you some things either weekly or monthly based off of what you put on your profile. That will be very helpful so you don't have to dig through there all the time. OK, but all of these scholarships, for the most part, are one off scholarships, meaning that you're only going to get them one time. All right. So don't base your decision to go to a school for four years based off of the fact that you receive ten thousand dollars in scholarships for this year, if they're only going to be given to you, you know, one time. OK, now some of these other ones, the upcoming national programs, some of these are. Um, renewable scholarships, meaning that you're going to get them every year, but some of these deadlines have passed. OK. There are some minority low income student scholarships, scholarships for Native Americans, scholarships for undocumented students, scholarships for students in foster care, scholarships for athletics. And then here are those other websites. So, again, there's a lot of them here. I know you guys have a lot to do in a little bit of time. So if you want to just start in the middle section up here where it says Mitchell's go to's, then that's where you want to go. OK. Now, the other option that you have are local scholarships, and that's what I'm going to spend the rest of the time talking about. Um, those are the scholarships that are specific to just Pennsylvania, Montgomery County, um, Norristown Area High School, and maybe the area, you know, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware in this little region. OK, so that means that you have less competition because those national ones you're competing against everyone. The other ones is just a little bit of people. And sometimes you may get the scholarship simply because you are the only person to fill out the application. That happens a lot, a lot more than you think, because you guys are tired. And sometimes we'll use that L word called lazy. Right. And so some of you have to pick up your hands, pick up your finger and make you touch the buttons on the computers to get these things done. All right. So you want to make sure you do that. So the local scholarships are going to be on my um, on my Schoology account. So if you are not following me on Schoology, the access code is right here. You can write this down and go ahead and join my Schoology group. OK, anytime I get a scholarship, I'm not going to email them to you because I will be emailing you every day, but they will go on the Schoology group every time I get them and it will load right here in the Schoology group. OK, so if you see here yesterday, I put like six in here yesterday because they were in there from the vacation. So there's one, two, three, and they go all the way down. You don't have to go all the way down this stream to look for them. You can simply just come over here on the side. And you'll see that. Can you do me a favor? Can you close that? You can just look over here on the side and you see that they're listed the, the most. Let's say the eight deadlines that are coming up, they'll be here. If you click on the calendar. Then you will see anything else that I have coming up. So you see January, February. There's a couple March in there. And again, I'm going to be getting some every week. So every week. Just go through the calendar and see what has been added, because there are going to be some dates that get slid in between the ones that are already there. Um, I'm also going to go in the titles and try to be um, descriptive about what it's for. So you don't have to waste your time reading through them. Some of them are only for girls. Some of them are only for guys. Some of them are non-gender. Some of them are just for African-American students. Some of them are just for students whose parents were in the military. There are going to be a whole bunch of different niche scholarships in there. Some of them you have to have a 3.0 GPA. So I will at least put that in the description so you can just skip through them. I would highly recommend that you look and what is needed 30 days out. Don't wait until the day before and try to do these scholarship applications because some of them might want an essay. Some might want a letter of recommendation. Some of them may be very time consuming. Some of them you may need to ask somebody to send you a letter. You can use letters that you already have from teachers already. So for those of you who already have letters, it should slow down time for you because you can just ask them. But you want to go in there and make sure that you give them everything that they ask for, because that's how they eliminate you simply by not following instructions. If they say they want an essay, don't give them two sentences and say, there's my essay, because they score those essays. I'm on a couple of scholarship committees. And so we have a rubric that we use. And so one of them may say is very detailed. You get points for that. 
Another category could be followed instructions. You get points for that. If you were very detailed, you get points for that. So you don't want to just slap together some essay. You also don't want to use some amazing essay for some other question that has nothing to do with what they ask you. OK, so again, I have people who can help you guys do your essays. We have two teachers in the building and then I have another person outside of here if you need help getting your essays done. Also, starting on Monday is the last Monday in January. I will have something called Money Grand Monday Scholarship Cafe. You may have seen it last year. And so it's a walk in for seniors all day on Monday where you can come sit in here and just work. I got music. I got snacks. I got chocolates. I hope I do have hot chocolate and you can just sit here and just do your work. So some of you guys have been in here before and for you guys that have been here and just sit in here and do work, it's kind of a little bit chill. So it's not like when you're at home and it's a bunch of noise or me, I could be home by myself. I get easily distracted. I distract myself all day. Right. So it's just a nice opportunity for you to get stuff done and get answers um, and ask questions. I would really recommend that you do that. I'll start promoting that sometime next week. OK, so I know that the bell is getting ready to ring soon. What time does the bell ring? 24. Yep. In three minutes. So please go on here and do these scholarship applications. So, again, I'm going to send an email today. I'm going to also send an email to your parent or guardians, just letting them know that this is coming through. Stop talking about you broke. I need some money. Here's the money right here. Some of these might be two hundred and fifty dollars. Fill them out because who's doing science related majors in here? Your books are going to be $300 a piece. OK, so don't be thumbing your nose at two hundred dollars and two fifty. That's a book that you just turned down. Some of them might be six thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. You don't know. The one that's due next week, the aqua water one, that one is ten thousand dollars a year. So that's one of the rare renewables that's in here. OK, so I want you to read them, check them out. Don't email me or email your recommender at the last minute asking them for something. Email them now because this one is due next Tuesday. OK, you guys have any questions? I know I talk pretty fast. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to stop this recording and then I know some of you might stay behind. Yay. All right. So it recorded this time. Good, good, good. <laughs>